What's up, everybody? It's your boy Yo Yo. It's my other life TV. I'm here with Sheba Songs. Yes, what's up, everybody? I'm Sheba Songs from Q93. The one and only, you know what I'm saying? I know y'all know it. You know, I don't want to toot my own horn, Mario. So, yeah. you know, I'm going to still go BB. All right, yeah. <laughs> About time you come to the studio. Hey, I'm happy to be here. Glad to get you on camera. Sure. It's been a long time coming. This is a friend long of mine. Time. Long time since Dylan. Yeah, hey, D.U. Shout out to D.U. I got used to do it. How are you? Oh, no, no, that's I'm it. I'm about to Sorry. say how we used to do it. What you mean <laughs> y'all used to do it? At the pep rallies and stuff. I never went. It I was, just used to do my work D, and go It's home. D. Oh, D. Sorry, I had a glass of wine. Damn, y'all. Say, look, all my Dilla people, that's <laughs> on her. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> I still love Dilla, though. I just had a glass of wine, so yeah. All right, well, hopefully she can help us with today's topic. Yes. You know what I mean? We're here to talk about what it takes for artists to get themselves up to that point, that exposure they need. And they're trying to get here, a popular radio station, pop themselves off, and be the next hottest thing out of the city. Well, that's a that's a very good topic because a lot of times the artists come here and the only thing they know is, I got the hottest single. First of all, everybody has the hottest single, okay? Right. But before you come to radio, radio does not break artists anymore before you come to the radio station you want to break yourself you want to use these platforms uh, SoundCloud especially social media you want to also make sure your paperwork is right everything is copyrighted you have an ISRC code which is another thing that artists does not do yeah, not yeah, know, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> an ISRC code is basically a code that you retrieve once you put your uh, music on all these platforms and right. it helps it helps keep count of the streaming numbers. Like when you put your song on the radio, you want to know how many times did it play, Shazam, all that type of stuff. That's what that code is for. Right. So the steps that an artist should take is one, making sure their music's copyrighted. Mm -hmm. Two, making sure the quality of the music sounds like a professional and not in the kitchen, like right. hustle and flow. You know. Right. right. <laughs> Make sure the quality is up to a part. Make sure you also have a clean version. So when you want to submit these, I was gonna say that a lot of yeah. people don't don't even be ready with the clean version no, at all. They think that I'm gonna go through and do it. Yeah. No, it doesn't work like that. That is not her job. Not my job. Nor do I want to do it. So make sure the producer give you a clean version as well because it's professional. P professionalism. You wanna you want your music to hit the airwaves, and then you also want to take. Um, take advantage of these platforms. You have social media now where that's free. Our Kelly can see music, you can go viral. Um, you also have SoundCloud, you also have YouTube, to where you can make money once you start like streaming big numbers. It's called monetize. You wanna make sure you monetize your uh, original work. If you get a song where you have to use, uh, what they call it, like if I use Aretha Franklin in the background? A sample. If you use a sample, you wanna make sure it's clear. Because right. then you don't want to get sued, and you can't put it on the uh, airways, not clear. So let's for a second talk about that as far as building the social media, the internet, how popular that is mm -hmm. for artists. I've been trying to preach to people, like earlier on my Instagram I spoke about it. An artist like 6 9 when he um, attached himself to DJ Academics basically, he knew that, hey, okay, DJ Academics got the platform as far as the internet. I attach to this, I make, I can blow myself up. So I be telling artists all the time, people like myself and other bloggers, people who are on YouTube constantly, who has that type of presence on Twitter and all that, yeah, you gotta be able to build a relationship with, with yep. those people as well. So tell them how important it is to have a team behind you that understands you need to build relationships with people like myself, yourself, other people in the music industry or, or people that can break them into the industry. Mm -hmm. That it ain't gonna just happen like just walk up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's so true. We'll talk a little bit about how the importance of uh, an artist having a team behind them that, that knows what it takes. Okay, like Mario said, it's very important to have a team. I mean, of course, you can do only so much by yourself, but you have to also network because in this industry it's all about who you know it's all about it's all about building relationships you don't have that relationship nine times out of ten people are going to walk past you right. until you have that name until you have that following so if the resources are there you want to attach yourself to the blog the magazine the radio station uh, personalities the christy coleman's you know people that can actually help you build your platform even these djs 
a lot of times you, the DJ don't know your music, and that's your problem because they're out here at bar culture. Keith, uh, Keith, I about to say Keith Sweat, Keith Scott. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Keith Scott, shout out to Keith Scott. Uh, you know, uh, all the Larrys. You want to connect yourself with the promoters. You want to connect yourself right, with the DJs, right. the uh, bloggers, the magazine people, because these people are going to help you build your brand. Because what I find funny, and, and I'm not trying to knock anybody out there, what I find funny is a lot of them think that they already Lil Wayne. They can just lock themselves in the studio, yes. make music, and we all just going to gravitate to it. No, no, it don't work that way. You mm. know what I'm saying? You need a team. Of people that's out building relationships out here on the scene in the industry with people that's involved. Yes. Or uh, nobody gonna know who you are, man. I don't no. care how hot you your art your music is. Nobody know who you are. It's, it's not gonna work, man. You gotta do the groundwork just as much as you do the social media work. You you can be a new artist and drop five different singles every day, but you're not giving me time to know who you are as an artist because you keep dropping stuff. Yeah. When I think I'm about to listen to one song, you come out with another single. You gotta take your time. You gotta build yourself as a brand. Know who you are as an artist. Be original, and don't try to copy everybody else. And because that's gonna make you stand out. A lot of times, uh, a record label they want to they want you to already be developed. They're they're not developing artists anymore. You gotta have the look. That's true. The look is very important. I you can to have bring the best up. voice. Yeah, the look, yeah. Gotta have the look. Gotta have the swag. You gotta have just that whole persona, not just talent. Because as you can see, you don't need talent. But you gotta have that oomph about you. I don't know who she was just taking a shot at, but you don't need talent. I, I'm just saying. We gonna leave that one alone. Listen to today's Y'all put in the comments what you think that was about. My, none of my business. But look, you know Sheba uh, yourself. I know you do your little songwriting. Of course, that's why you yeah. Sheba songs. Yeah, it all adds up. What's been uh, what's been the process like for you and like what you've been doing as far as yourself is is getting the exposure for your brand. Well, what I have been doing lately, trying to take advantage of my platform and the situation that I'm in, that I'm in. So, by the uh, glory to God, you know, everybody here knows I'm a songwriter. So, when these label reps or these artists come through, I'm, I have the ability to first build that relationship and then say, hey, are you working on an album? Because I'm such and such and I do this and that. So, what I've been doing, going to the studio, back in the studio, writing songs and shopping them around to people who I know actually is coming up with an album. Right. Cause I can't sing, you know. That makes sense. That, that makes, makes sense. sense. Yeah. You know, I've been working. I just be quiet. <laughs> so if I can't add, my my biggest thing I would tell to someone is number one, if you coming out and you are an artist and you got a project or whatever you focused on, please think it through on how you want to execute the release and everything that go along with it. Cause strategy. Yo, sometimes. I've not heard other artists like get onto a radio station and be like, yo, this song popped off and I wasn't ready. Like, I didn't right. know what I was going to do next. You got to put some thought into yeah, what your next true. move is going to be. Like Ella May. Yeah. Booed up. Booed up and came, blew up, but then she doubled back. But another single, which was Trip, and ended up doing quite well. So you want to be ready for when right. your life changed, you got to be ready. You got to always have new material, but take your time with it, strategize. And understand that things do not happen overnight. It can, but Boot Up had been out for like three years before it yeah, actually it pop, yeah. did something. So never give up. Keep the favor. Also, come up with a plan. Come up with a game plan and attack it. Don't be all over the place. Know who you are as an artist. Uh, of course, study other artists to see how they did it, but all, always stay true to yourself if that makes sense. That makes total sense. Makes sense. And that right there is great advice. From Sheba songs. Yes. I'm thankful. You heard it from me. <laughs> you let people know what it take. Because people ask me all the time, man, what it take? What it take? What's going on? I didn't want to, you know, sit down and just say my two cents. I'm going to bring in, you know, a big dog on the situation. Roof, roof. Thank yeah. you, man. <laughs> another thing is, when your music attacks the street and it becomes so big in the street, the radio station is going to look for you, too. So you definitely don't want to feel like you need radio. You don't need radio, but you you want that radio. You want radio when you already kind of established the streets. Because the streets is going to stand behind you. Radio is when everything is established, basically. Then the labels come in, and if you want to stay independent and everything become commercial, that's when radio kick in. But you need the streets behind you. You need people like Mario behind you. You need people like Keith Scott behind you, Bar Culture, A Prey. Larry, Greg, all the promoters, and that's my advice to you as an artist. 
Go ahead. And if you're in New Orleans and don't know none of those names, do some research. Definitely. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you to Sheba Souls. It's Marvel Life TV. We out.